I don't even know what would be a good intro for this video. Because it's been a while since I did a video. X gon' give it to ya, fuck waiting around to get it on your own, X gon' deliver to ya, knock knock, open up the doors real, with a non-stop, pop pop and stainless steel, who got more ass than the average bitch? You know it's the baddest bitch, I'ma tell it to your face, slim in the waist, fat in the ass, do you wanna taste? My withdrawals be the fullest, my withdrawals be the fullest, the only thing you draw is them eyebrows and them bitches still ain't the fullest, ah! Hey everyone, Kaisa here with another video. I'm sure you guys missed this, right? No. <laughs> so, it's actually been a rather busy time for me still. I don't know why. Things have just been coming up left and right. I haven't been home, haven't been in a place where I can record. But finally, I do have the time to record again. I'm sure you guys have heard this all before. In my last time, I had a hiatus, but still. I don't know why it keeps happening. Like, even next week, I have, like, a dentist appointment probably going to remove my wisdom teeth hopefully because this thing is hurting like hell like I don't know if anybody else has experienced this yet but when my wisdom teeth are coming came in they kind of just push the gum a lot in the way of my bite so every time I chew I'm biting a part of myself every single time I already bite the side of my cheek every time I eat I don't need this okay anyway I'm here making video got some new music actually some new songs are coming out not like on the radio but I'm actually making them on my phone as well I'm sure most people well some people okay Zenin I'm sure you know that I make my music on my phone using caustic 3 but I haven't been able to make any new tracks lately because I haven't gotten any inspiration however nowadays I'm starting to get more into that I'm trying to create more tracks also because one of my other friends did request some songs to use as well so I was like okay why not <laughs> by the way I'm on discord um I'll let y'all know when I'm when I feel comfortable releasing my information outside of the server that I'm in but if y'all see me don't be afraid to say hi <laughs> internally I'm very scared for this video, I decided to go back to one of my old WDIs that I had made. Remember, like, if you look through the playlist, I did Chundo, I did Zhen Long, Michael. Did I do Par- yeah, yeah, technically I did Parabellum, but I think I'll do another one on him later. Like, maybe next month. But before I get into that, let me just go over a few things, as always. So now that I got my narcolepsy boy, uh, in my last video I talked about making an Ardor light team. I'm thinking of actually using Vanchi now, but I just need to get the right stones for him. I'm trying to get the shards of Balmung stone for him, rather than Metatron's will, just because he doesn't need the critical rate anymore. However, the action bar recovery is greatly appreciated. So what I'm thinking is, maybe I'll just get another Essence of Greed. <laughs> Guys, I'm really on the Essence of Greed train right now. Yeah, um, meanwhile, the reason why is because since I had to move around stones a lot and I don't have a few stones, like, I have to keep trying my luck into getting the right shit for everything, I ended up having to, um, yeah. This is a very weird Leo build, okay? Don't follow this. Do not try to use this. This is only because I needed the critical damage. And as you can see, I do have Choi at the bottom right. I don't think I'll be able to do a- Was that a car? Anyway, I won't be able to do a WDI on Choi just because he's a legendary. It's kind of self-explanatory. He's. I mean, I don't think people say that he's the best legendary out of everybody, but I do like having him on my team. He's, he's a very nice addition. I use him for Coliseum of Trials as well but he's kind of too powerful for that for some reason. It's really weird. I think it was like 4-3 or something, but he's like pretty freaking strong. On top of having an Ardor light team with Narcolepsy Boy aced, I have this other team in the works. Narcolepsy Boy and Haru should be switched, but this is my dream meme team. <laughs> this is my Ardor Thunder Husbando team. And as you can see, obviously I do have Van. I'm not sure where that other stone went. But he did have another stone. I'm still trying to 
fix around everything because I'm trying to prioritize fixing Babby stones because right now he has Dragon's Boner and it's not that great of a stone but it's also hindering the amount of damage that he does. My voice just cracked. I, I might edit that out but if it's still in, whatever. So unfortunately for me, the only thing is that there are so few Ardor and Thunder Aces. Like, all there really is is Jean, there is Lemmy, who I can't even use because she's not a husband though unless she's a Futa. And the only other person who has this kind of ace that I have is Dane, but I didn't even build him yet. Also, I don't really like his mutton chops. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't get with that. Yes, I did get the sexy K skin. Yes, I did get the sexy Kieran skin. Yes, I have no regrets. But that's not what I'm trying to talk about right now. What I'm trying to talk about right now is that I still have a slot attribute change ticket. And the only reason why I haven't used it yet was because my my original plan for Yonghae was that I was going to re-roll his green slot, his whirlwind slot for a an ardor or light slot so that way I can fill it in for like one of the co-op zones. However, the only problem with that is I recently learned that co-op maxes out at 50%. So the only reason why you would want to run that if you want to abuse the co-op is if they're running Balder and Leventer and anything else that decreases cooperative defense, like me- no, Nabby. So what I'm thinking, maybe I'll use the ticket on K, cause yeah, this stone is not that great, honestly. It's good for defenders, not so much for goalkeepers. And then I was also thinking of 7-starring Zhenlong, cause I've been waiting for so long to actually do it. The only reason why it's like this is because I finally found Gerald, but um, <laughs> I've, I've been meaning to 7-star somebody for a while, and I ended up getting another Kevin in Rare Draw for some reason. I think he likes me now, because I have two Kevins now, and I, yeah, I drew him three times already. So same thing with me and Yuri. Yuri likes me. Guys, look at this shit. Hold up. Where is she? Where is she? Four Superbs. Never touched her once, and yet four superbs. See the problem here? I think she likes me. Oh, and my glade. Three superbs. Ugh. Should I build glade? Let me know in the comments. Should I build glade? Matter of fact, should I build glade? Matter of fact, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna make a list of characters, and then, even though I am a husband domain, y'all gonna have to let me know if I should actually build them. Okay? Okay. One last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, since my SoundCloud is running out of upload time and I am not willing to pay the fee to go premium because I don't see the points in it if I'm very erratic in my creations, um, I was wondering if you guys were okay with me just uploading videos with just the new songs that I create with just like a random picture that I drew as a background or like a picture that I took around my city or something, you know, just random stuff and then the music in the background. So if you guys are very interested in actually listening to the music by itself without anything else over it, hit me, let me know in the comments below. And I, I mean, I might actually do that after this video as an experiment, but I'll go ahead and listen to you guys. You know, I'll get the word and I'll act accordingly, you know? Okay, so. For this video, yes, I'm kind of just moving back and forth, but please stick with that. This video, it's going to be another double feature just because I did get a new character. I did kind of build on him, and it kind of works hand in hand with the new strategy that I have in case I have a four man front. So, what we're going to talk about is Narcolepsy Boy! His lines are so unnecessarily long, but they're exactly the reason why I love him now. Also, look at that body, come on. <laughs> so, we all know the format, guys, right? Skill set, stone setup, unique stones you could probably use. However, I might skip it for this one. I might skip the unique stones for him, just because he is new, 
like it says it right above him he's new so it kind of need we kind of need a little bit more of an analysis on what he can do because i've been told that my build is stupid i actually do think my build is stupid but for some reason it works so i'm just like okay whatever let's just go with it let's just go with it without further ado let's go ahead and look at his skill set shall we his active is Dream in a Dream 3, that increases the attack power by 100% and pass effect by 100% of the allies within the position for 3 minutes. The best thing that would work for this is if your assist is faster than your striker, because the pass effect increased by 100 would increase the pass effect, of course. So instead of just your average 2000 pass, by a lot of people if you invested in your assist a lot then you'd pass for like 2500 or something because you know base stats and all that crap okay the attack power is also really appreciated because it helps everybody in the line it gives some reflect damage in case somebody tries to like take the ball from him hopefully he doesn't get counterattacked by that hopefully and it does increase the striker's damage output. However, I did try this out in 4-2. If you put Yong He, if you put Yong Hei in the same line with Parabellum and Damien with the same stone setup that I have, he's still not gonna one-hit KO if you don't have Jacob's active up. So I don't really think it's too much of an impact, but it's good enough. You know? It does what it needs to. I've been told it's a problem though. I have been told that it is a problem that he uses active when he gets the ball, but I think it's kind of a blessing in disguise. His first passive is Dream... no. Show off skills. He always starts the match at 30% action bar, he decreases the incoming damage by 30%, and increases the cooperative defense rate by 30%. So, remember how I talked about Parabellum? Yeah. This is basically the same thing, it's gonna be really really fast. You can give him Ignition Catalyst. Oddly enough, you can't have... I discovered this also rather recently, like a month ago. You can't have him and Kevin in the same line because he's still just going to start at 30%. Because of the wording, it says always start at. So it needs to be recovers action bar by. So if you really want him like super fast, maybe get him bonus. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to say anything yet. But... You know, this does help him become a co-op beast because he decreases a lot more damage and yeah, it increases cooperative defense even more so that way he doesn't have to rely on Mark of the Bond, which before I did say I was thinking of having a Mark of the Bond um, set up for him, I do apologize if it doesn't work out that well because that was just before I found out co-op maxed out at 50%. His next passive is Walking on a Dream. No, Feeling of Walking on a Dream. That's a long ass name. Gosh. He recovers 30% HP first and increases the attack power by 30% for each target with an attack or pass. Now, if this actually did decrease damage with an attack instead of recover HP. Well, not instead of recover HP, but like if it decreased the damage as well as the attack power and the HP recovery, this would be a lot better because he kind of needs a lot less damage reduction. A lot more damage reduction because uh, if they're too strong, he's not going to survive that first penetration. I have yet to face a team where he penetrates and he dies from it because I've been mainly doing manual mode. And I don't do that crap because I don't see the point in that because, you know, why? <laughs> I mean, sure, there may be some benefits to doing that, but I personally just don't like it because it nearly kills him. And if he still has the ball while he has low HP like that, he's not going to survive unless he gets like a lot of reflect damage. It does give me an idea for a different stone build. However, it does sacrifice some co-op and some potential other setups, you know? Like, it's gonna take some time to fully get used to the way that his skill set works and trying to get the stones for it. However, what I have right now, that's like the best option that I have at the moment 
because I don't like the other option I have. The last passive is Deep Sleep is Important. This recovers the action bar by 10% and HP by 50%, 15% of the allies currently in the assigned position when attacked. This is the reason why I feel like he is, um, he's supposed to be a frontline lockdown because of the recovery and the decreased damage that he gets. It's just, it just screams at me, okay? Because he's just gonna be recovering and recovering and recovering. However, in PvP, it is not that useful. There's always that problem, PvP, because healing is nerfed. But I get it, I get it. This is good for PvE though, like, where the healing isn't nerfed, because then he can just, you know, live, hopefully. So, the action bar is also really appreciated because it helps the frontline move a lot faster, with that, in a four-man front, you can also run something like Haru, maybe? Yeah, Haru. I mean, that's what I'm doing for my Ardor Thunder team. I'm running Haru and Chrono with Van, and I'll get to explaining that later once I get to later in the video. <laughs> so, now that that's all the passes explained from my point of view, let's go on and see my stupid stone build set. Yes, this is a thing. We have red decrease damage, yellow HP, we have red HP, and we have protection of Mother Earth. <laughs> I mean, okay, so what I was trying to do was that I was trying to get a whirlwind unique stone for Yonghae, but the problem was it was this stone, and now I have three goalkeeper stones, and this just happened to be what I use for him. Because critical resistance, decreased damage, I need that decreased damage, okay? That's it. Obviously, the red decreased damage and the yellow HP damage, yellow HP are just for the cooperative defense that it gives. So that gives me a lot more options on what to use. The only reason why the center is, the prism slot is red HP is because of the attack power increase when he's attacked. And I just like that, okay? I just like it. If anybody has another stone setup, please let me know. I don't know what else to use with him. I've tried Judgment Radiance, okay? I didn't really like it because it does mitigate the fact that he can't use- like, it- it gives him less of a reason to have red HP in the prism slot and it takes out one of the co-op stones. So that means I would have to re-roll him if I still want that 50% co-op, but still have the ball holding mechanism and healing. And I didn't really like that. So. For myself, I would want something like, I don't know, I would have to stick with a whirlwind unique stone, honestly, unless I re-roll him. And I don't think I'm gonna re-roll him anytime soon, to be honest. But we're gonna go ahead and look at some unique stones that he might be able to use. Don't take my word for this, guys. He might, okay? Have him be a passer? I don't know, I don't think this will work. Tank build! On offense. Totem. Totem stone. Totem? I guess? Ah, I don't, I don't, uh, no, I don't like this. I don't like it. If you have him stealing a lot. But... Nah. I wouldn't. Honestly. But that's just my personal opinion. If you guys want to use that, go ahead. Maybe? <laughs> Reflect damage, yeah. This could be useful if you want him to have a lot of... Um... What's it called? Reflex. But that substat, though, if you have that on a different stone... Nice. It's like, hell yeah. It looks like it's good, but however, it might be actually bad. <laughs> ah. I'm curious as to how this would work. If somebody actually does want to experiment with that, let me know how this works. If you want him to be a passer, I guess. I mean, he'll recover a lot more HP with this, so maybe it's a low key, yes. However, I don't I wouldn't do that. In which case, I would definitely recommend green steel if you're going to do this. Recovery. 
I don't know. Nah. Nah. I don't think... I don't think... I really don't think he's meant for damage. I really don't. I think he's just for support and trying to hold the ball at the front for people who don't have long passers. So the main reason why I wanted to use him on my team was because right when he was released, I literally thought that he was from Makarano Danshi. You know that, um... That really weird, cringy, sleepy time boyfriend kind of anime thing that they had a couple years ago. And I thought he was the sheep guy. And that's exactly the only reason why I wanted to... Dog. But that's the only reason why I wanted to use him. <laughs> that, that, that's only my explanation. And then I got found out that he has a lot of co-op, so I was like, okay, I'll try it, I'll try it. I don't have any regrets. I do not have any regrets, however, I do think that he needs a lot more speed, because he is pretty damn slow compared to Parabellum. But then again, Parabellum gets action speed from his passive. Okay, and with that, we're gonna take a little quick break, because this is making my phone overheat like a motherfucker. <laughs> and we are back for the second half of the video. My grandma's phone is going off randomly, so I might pause to look at it for some reason. I don't know why I do that. Anyway. This second half, I'm sure you guys have seen that WDI Chrono video, and that kind of had some volume problems, so I decided, you know what, let's redo this, okay? We're gonna redo it because not only have I got my words somewhat in order, slightly, very slightly this time, um, I do know how to volumize everything, so you'll be able to hear me over the soundtrack. And I do realize that the soundtracks that I make is loud as shit, so... Let's get on with it, shall we? No, wait, that's Haru. That's... yeah. Jimmy's! Jimmy's! Don't blame me, I was going by the color. Anyway... <laughs> As you can see, he's still at three superbs. But... I've kind of just been messing around with his skills at the moment. Because I feel like I don't know what to prioritize. So... Active! This increases critical damage and... The damage done to the target by 20%. Wait, what? Oh, it increases the damage done by the target for 20 minutes. So, since the active on the player lasts for 20 minutes and its cooldown is 16 minutes, that means you have a 4 minute grace period to restock it. Which is really nice. I love that. It gives me... Well, I don't know, I just like it. I like it when things last longer than the cooldown, okay? So that way you can just keep that up without having a striker die, hopefully. Daddy! <laughs> so, what I like to think about this is that it's kind of like Milky Way meets Elaine. Because it targets the player, but it also does crit stuff and damage stuff, you know? Obviously, I don't run Elaine, so he's basically my secondary. He's my substitute for that. Speaking of which, if I ever go like Mono Thunder Husband though, which is probably damn near impossible, um, I might actually run his ace, cause 72% increase in pass effect. First passive is medication. It increases the attack power by 30% and critical rate by 20% of allies within the position. Honestly, I usually have this maxed out because I do appreciate the crit rate and the attack power boost, especially the attack power boost. However, I've had to mess around with this because I was kind of experimenting since I also have Yonghehe and my new stone setup, which I will show you in a minute. But if you do want to have that increase, I would definitely put at least one in there. I mean, I do have one because he has three perps, but still. Um, just, I don't know, max that out if you want him to be a totem. Simple, right? Yeah. Throw Medicine 2 decreases the defense by 30% and HP recovery effect by 25% of the enemies within the position for 6 minutes from being attacked. This is like anti-recovery if you know that your first shot is not going to kill the goalkeeper, which is basically the story of my life. <laughs> ah, Isilia. Cecilia. I, I, I can't. Anyways, what I do also appreciate is the defense cut, which is... I'm not sure how much defense affects damage, but I'm pretty sure defense cutting is good, so I will appreciate that because stuff. And the decreased 
recovery rate is, well, recovery effect, perfect. Because I am not trying to have to deal with Virgin again. Or any other healers again. However, I do have to say, right now I don't really have much of a problem with 4-5, and I don't need Chrono for that, just because I have Shu as a friend. Because, you know, lots of damage and stuff. I don't know how, but Shu managed to hit for 3,000 on a shot, and I don't- I, I find that a little bit awkward. His last passive, de is Psychedelic Injection. It decreases the incoming damage of the allies within the position by 25% when they're being penetrated. <laughs> and it initially recovers 10% HP for every ally attacked. Now, this is where I did the experiment, because normally I would have 5, 5, 5, 1, and I don't really prioritize this. However, after some experimenting, I can safely say that this is great for PvE, because it's 10% for each ally, so if they're penetrating through two allies, that means that's a 20% recovery when they're being penetrated. And it's, and it's great for PvE. PvP, however, not so much, but it does help with decreasing the damage they receive, and I do see that. It is 25%, though. It's still kind of a hefty amount, but not as big of an amount as I would think it is, because I've seen skills where it decreases the damage by 70, or what was it? 40 or anything above 30, you know, but you know, it's a line buff. I understand why it's 25% and it's reasonable, you know? I'll, I'm starting to like the skill a lot more, but I do have to switch it out. I do have to change around his skills a lot because he kind of does fill in a lot of roles on my team. Like, do I want to have my utility striker, one of my utility strikers in here and start trying to mess up their recovery rate or do I need them to have the totem and increase their attack power? Or do I still have my utility striker and I'm kind of just needing them to get the ball back from them? Because I also run Haru. You know, it's kind of like a little thinking game. Right? So, in the last video, I did talk about my stone setup, but he didn't have a unique stone. But now that I do have something... This is my stone setup for him right now. I got two decreased damages. This is almost at plus 15. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. So right now he has 29% cooperative defense thanks to Mark of the Bond. I got the Dark HP stone. This I'm thinking of like trying to give to K after I reroll him, but I'm starting to think maybe I should reroll this. Like Maybe I should actually re-roll Chrono, so that way I can give him a light HP to increase his cooperative defense chance. However, this is the best set that I can come up with him right now on my team. Granted, he could use a lot of other stones, but, you know, we all know I just do what I like, okay? And then I kind of just suggest things that maybe someone could use, might not work, might work, I don't know. But yeah, I think this is a nice set. It does help decrease the amount of damage that he gets, par I mean, barring penetration, but you know, um, if I ever make Tehu an attack and then pass in the front line, maybe that'll help. Nah, that's stupid. Tehu Striker! <laughs> Behu Striker! So yeah, this is what I was talking about with the Mark of the Bond thing, because now I have a 50% co-op Yonghei at the front, along with a 30% co-op Chrono. And with Chrono's last passive, they're more- hopefully they're going to try and penetrate through two players at the same time a lot because I always try to aim for their long passer or four passer if possible. So, now that I've talked about my stone setup right now, let's go ahead and talk about other sets he can use. So, stone slots are Thunder, Ardor, and Dark. Let's go ahead and get into this. This should be obvious. Personally, I don't really think I would use this because, you know, I don't really need him to move first. He's kind of just there as support because Perbila moves first and then passes to Babby. And if Babby doesn't kill on the first shot, you know, he's kind of just support. He's just like trying to help everybody survive in the front. I might try to move Perbila to the right front. I don't know. This is actually pretty nice. 
this is nice. Yeah. But, you know, my reasoning. You know, just stuffs. Reflex is okay. I mean, he won't get counterattacked so much. Meanwhile, the decrease from penetrations and steals is nice, even though it is only 25%. If you wanted to be a totem and give the striker an additional critical damage buff, this would be nice. It's okay. I would put it on like a passer. Like if you're going Mono Thunder, put it on Luka or something or I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. It's a totem stone in case you run him in the middle line. Like the middle column. Front, mid. No. Yeah. Front, mid. Uh. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I don't. Possibly. Just possibly. Possibly. Would he even do enough damage if he stole? I don't think so. Right? Hey, if you could put stars, tears on anybody and it works, why not? I have this on my Behoon right now, though. Did somebody say reflexes? No? Just me? Okay. It's a totem stone. It decreases critical resistance it's nice but it's by 15 percent which isn't too much but you know it's enough for it to matter if you're worried he's gonna take too much damage while he has the ball possibly okay i was thinking this but never mind he doesn't really have reflex his reflex is booty and not the good kind the only reason i don't run this on chrono is because i already have it on perbulum however i am thinking of replacing that with um what was it? I already forgot the name of it. Bond of Silence! That's what it was. Again, if you're worried about him getting counterattacked a lot. But, personally, I don't really care about it. I like Essence of Greed. What can I say? So, like, I don't need to go into detail about why I use Chrono on my husband team, right? Because, like, the increased damage is really helpful. I like the recovery. Well, the recovery debuff. And I do like the recovery that he grants, and I do like the totem that he has. There's like, so many things that he has that I like, that makes me want to run him on my team, you know? It's like, if someone came to your party, right? And they got a hell of cupcakes, and all them cupcakes are all the flavors that you love. Like, in my case, there will be a chocolate cupcake, a strawberry cupcake, hella strawberry cupcakes. This, the totem, will be the chocolate cupcake, alright? The, the active is the peanut butter. I do like peanut butter. The throw medicine is the, what? I don't know. The regular cupcake, right? Regular cupcake that you can get from like one of those grocery stores. And the psychedelic injection is the strawberry cupcake. And if you know me, if anybody knew anything about me, I am crazy for strawberries, okay? I will smack somebody if it means I get to keep my strawberries. Okay, I got strawberry everything. I got strawberry chapstick. I got strawberry shea butter. I got strawberry everything, boy. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of the reason why I use Chrono. Because he actually offers a lot of things to do for my team. Also because he bears his body in his EV. I mean, sure he's a robot, but you know. And thanks for watching everybody, I'm pretty tired right now, cause like right after I did the spirit stones I ended up doing another PvP, which I will upload as a separate video. I'll try to maybe put one of my new songs in there, or my mo one of my new more recent songs. I'm starting a lot, this is how you know I'm fucking tired. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to let me know how I'm doing, leave a comment below. And if you want more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way you know when I upload because it seems to be very erratic at this point. Okay, I'm kind of tired. I'm going to go on my computer maybe and do some stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll just turn on the PS2 and play Dynasty Warriors because Dynasty Warriors is pretty mindless fun. Uh, plus, I get to be a bitch with fans, so hey. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Bye!
come on. Plus 15, damn you. I command it. I command it. You plus 15 now. You plus 15 now. Ah, fuck it, I give up.